So, so far, we have two different, two different anchors at very different masses. Blank, the latter. So this is a common phrase, the former or the latter. The former would have been the first thing that you mentioned, the latter being the second. So our higher mass anchor is an iron anchor. And there we see another comparison. The first one was bronze, the second one is iron. So maybe because of their different materials, that's why it's much more mass, right? And a size disparity between anchors made of different materials or different metals isn't unanticipated. They're saying we would almost expect two different anchors made of two, two different metals to be much or uh, very differing masses, right? Starting with A. In other words, so we're really only going to use this when um, we have said something and we are restating it uh, with analogous depth, right? Because if you go more in depth, that would be specifically. You're saying it at the same level level of depth, but you're saying it in maybe a different way for clarity or for more expression, etc. Now, the problem here is that this new sentence introduces something that we did not mention. So, in other words, isn't going to work because they're supposed to be analogous. They are telling us that the second anchor is made out of iron, which we didn't know. So, I don't think, in other words, is going to work very well here. In B... In conclusion, is also going to struggle for the same reason that A does, in that you're never introducing something new in your conclusion, right? You, uh, when you conclude something, you had already gotten across, you know, point one, point two, point three. Because of these reasons, in conclusion, you know, this is why I'm arguing in this direction, right? It's supposed to be a rehash, um, a summary of what you've already said. We are never introducing something new. The iron part. In conclusion, in C, admittedly, could work very well here because they are admitting that the second anchor is made out of iron, which could cause that huge that huge size discrepancy between the two anchors. So C so far is going to work very well. And finally, in D, as a result, well, hold on. So. As a result of this being a larger anchor, it is an iron anchor because of that, which I, I don't think makes much sense, right? It already was an iron anchor, and they just tend to have different masses. As a result would be more like, as a result of this being a much higher mass anchor, that is only used on particular ships, whereas the anchor with less mass is used on a different type of ship, right? So in this context, D is not going to work, and C is going to be our final answer.